Hello. This video demonstrates the process of enabling and configuring email alerts in Dell PowerProtect Cyber Recovery. You can view and manage alerts and events from the Cyber Recovery UI. Click on the Alerts and Events section in the left pane. Alerts are categorized under System and Security. System alerts indicate issues like failed components. Security alerts warn of potential threats such as unauthorized login attempts or malware detection. Events log system activities include job starts, retention log completions, and user login updates. To acknowledge an alert, simply select it and add a note if necessary. Acknowledged alerts won't appear in the notification bell or dashboard. To revisit an alert later, you can unacknowledge it. Click on the alert or event to display the details panel, which shows additional information and steps to remedy any issues. You can configure the settings to receive email notifications of alerts. Log in with a security officer user and navigate to the settings icon located at the top right corner and select support from the drop down menu. In the mail settings tab, enable the send email notifications option. To secure your email communication, enable TLS encryption. This ensures that emails are not sent in clear text to your mail server, which is the default option. Enter the IP address or host name of your mail or relay server. The default port used is 25. If you're using a postfix mail server or have data diode configurations, additional steps are required. If postfix is configured on the CR host, you can mention the IP or host name of the CR host, which acts as a relay server. There are additional configurations required in the main.cf file. Refer to the product guide for detailed instructions. If TLS is enabled, a mail server certificate is required for an additional layer of security when sending messages. During the initial configuration, you should see an option to verify the certificates, which accepts and saves the mail server's certificate. In case a relay server is used in postfix or data diode configurations, the email communication will be using TLS certificates of the relay server or data diode. Refer to the documentation for more details on generating self-signed certificates. Note that if the certificate is expired, email communication will fail. You will see an alert indicating the certificate expiration 30 days before the expiry date. To resolve, click on Change Certificate and then verify to save the new certificate. The sender's email address will appear as the sender in the recipient's inbox. You may customize this address if necessary. Optionally enter the username and password for the mail server. For added security, domain restrictions can be configured by the security officer to allow only the domain specified to receive alert emails. Click on save to apply the new email alert configuration. Select a user to edit or add a new user. In the user's profile, enter the email address where alert emails should be sent. In the alert notification section, set the alert preferences for the user. You can select it to receive critical and warning alerts based on your preference for specific users. To ensure the configuration is correct, send a test email. This will confirm that the alert system is functioning properly. You can verify that the delivered email messages are using TLS. In Outlook, open the email message and click on File and then Properties. In the Internet Headers box, notice that TLS 1.2 is enabled. For additional information, refer to the Product Guide and the Info Hub page.